I don't, read a lot of um, leading lady comedies. Um, and this was an incredibly smart, quick, witty, romantic comedy. And um, the character of Megan was strong and smart and a mess at the same time. And there's so many levels to play. She's been chilling at home doing absolutely nothing, and her best friend, um, played by Jessica Zor, convinces her to sign up on online dating to have a one night stand and kind of get back on the horse. And so she does, and it was fine until the next morning, and she gets in this giant tussle with this guy who she now thinks is a complete dick. Um, and there's a blizzard in New York, and she can't actually leave his apartment. So they're stuck together, and it's kind of this exploration in two strangers' lives. It's a hard thing to redefine gender roles in general, um, but hopefully Megan can kind of be that example of someone that she's not a super confident individual. Uh, she really has to fake that part of it, and it is about not being sure that it's going to go well or not. She takes a risk, and it doesn't pay off, but ultimately it does, because what she found from having the courage to, to take love and relationships and that whole process into her own hands is um, a self-strength that she didn't have before. When we first meet Megan, um, she is this sad mess. She had a life plan, and that life plan ended up falling through. She graduated from college. She had moved uh, with her fiancé at the time, and that was her plan. And then her fiancé decided that he wanted someone with more ambition, uh, and that wasn't Megan. So we meet Megan trying to figure out what she is going to do in life. Miles Teller is a ball of energy. I'm a pretty low-key individual. I'm quiet on set and it's actually really nice to work with someone that gets on set and is the opposite because it, it livens things up. Um, me, I tend to read in the corner, and Miles tends to dance in the center. So it was it was a nice um, balance of energies.